gets a sack on the play. It's only an eight-point game. Manti Teo. Oh! Manti Teo. Forget about his girlfriend. This guy just got a sack and an interception. Back-to-back -back plays. What is going on right now? Oh, so we have a Madden coming. Oh, I got this. I got this. I got this. What's going down, everybody? It's your boy, Onto the Boss. I'm coming out with an ultimate team video. I know you guys love this. And uh, I love it myself. So I was like, you know what? Let me put together a video for these guys. Now, before we start off anything, MVP of Madden 13. Shout out to my man right here because he was able to give me this car right here. Ready? 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 Julio Jones, cover vote, two star. And uh, the thing I love about this card is spectacular catch, all 100. And he's going to make some of the, the weirdest catches you'll ever see. So Gene Upshot, I just wanted to make sure you guys see some of the changes that I have on my team. Now, these are all from the legendary packs that I upload, that I unbox, I say, from my previous episode. Troy Malo, Palomalu, I was getting ready to say Malo Palu. I don't even know why I said that. He's got an, uh, moved up to a strong save position. And then, you know, I was like kind of itching. I'm like sitting on the side itching. I was like, I have a hundred K to spend. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and get this card. You know, I was like shopping around for a quarterback. I've been using RG3. I've had the same card. So let's compare these cards. Obviously, the speed is nothing close. But look at the accuracy and the throwing power and the awareness. So this three-star Kurt Warner cover vote is definitely a pretty nice card again. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and purchase this. So I went ahead. I got it. I know it's a lot of money, but, you know, let's go ahead and try them out. I've never really used a legend quarterback. I mean, I have used a legend quarterback. But I haven't really been consistent with a legend quarterback. I decided to go up, go ahead and change up my running back position as well. Currently, I'm staying with AP. I'm definitely going to keep that card for a while. But I was like, let me go ahead and try a different running back for this game. And I ran into this Marshall Falk, the Colts edition card. And this is a two-star Something that I love about this card is obviously the acceleration, the speed, and he's just overall a balanced card. You know, I love it. And uh, I'm, the reason why I'm saying I love it is because, like, the picture on the cover, you know, it looks intense. But I haven't really used it, so I can't really say I love it. I don't even know what is going on with me right now. But after picking up Marshall Falk, I was like, you know what? I'm kind of itching for a wide receiver. So let's go ahead and put Reggie Wayne, the three-star cover vote, next to Julio Jones. I think that will be a pretty good duo. And if you think about it, we could either have Calvin Johnson or Reggie Wayne in the slot. I don't even know which one I'm going to do which. But uh, for the time being, I decided to go ahead and change up my running backs. We're going to go ahead and insert Marshall Falk in. And uh, as far as my wide receivers, for the time being, like I said, we're going to keep Reggie Wayne at the two. And we're going to put Calvin Johnson at the three, obviously making Julio Jones at the one. And you see the stats on Reggie Wayne. Oh, my goodness. And I'm going to go ahead and purchase this uh, uniform. You know, sort of make Kurt Warner and Marshall Falk feel like they're at home. Although Marshall Falk is the Colts car. You know, you guys know he's uh, inside his heart. He's a Ram, uh, he's a Ram. So I decided to go ahead and pick up that Rams uh, uniform, and we're gonna go ahead and play an online game. This is going to be a six-minute quarter. So let's see who we get matched up against. Parent, uh, is this my mom and dad? I mean, I don't even know why this guy's name is Parent, but he's 98 overall. I'm 95, I believe. And we're gonna go ahead and kick this one off. So here comes the kickoff. And I'm going to take this one with Deshaun Jackson. And I think I got somebody's ankle on the play. But nowhere to go. So here comes Kurt Warner. His first possession of the game. First pass of the game. Look at that bullet. I mean, those are literally the bullets that come out of the Mario game. Super Mario Bros. You know, the bullets that come after you. That is exactly what Kurt Warner is doing right now. Look at that pitch. Running back screen, juke move by Marshall Falk. Could he take this one in? And he gets stepped out of bounds, or should I say tackled out at the four-yard line. So we're trying to, you know, tap this one in for a touchdown already. You know, four minutes into the game. Here comes my fullback, Jones, on the fullback draw. And he puts up the first seven points on the board. So here comes my opponent. He had, I believe, the Matt Forte cover roll. I think this was a two-star Matt Forte. But uh, without, you know, talking about him way too much, he gets, you know, a running back first down on the play. And then he comes out on third down. Look at that weird catch. And on fourth down, kind of risky move right here because we are still in the first quarter. And this guy's already going for it. And then he's going to give it to Vernon Davis on the play to make this a tie ball game. So it's 7-7. Seven to seven. Here comes Kurt Werner. Who will he go to on the play? Calvin Johnson. He's been big here in the first half. Gets his third reception on the game. 49 yards. Let's go ahead and give some reps to Marshall Falk. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared that I have him on my team because I've had bad history with his name. Look at this catch. Oh, my goodness. 
perfect accuracy, perfect pass, and a perfect catch by Calvin Megatron. That could be a dirty, dirty duel. Think about Kurt Warner and Calvin Johnson. That would be dirty right there. Look at my opponent on the way back. And, you know, at first quarter, I didn't really understand his philosophy. I didn't really understand his mentality of his play style. But as soon as the second quarter came, I kind of, you know, got to understand how his offense works. Because you guys can see I'm having trouble with his offense as Calvin Johnson makes reception. So what's going on with his offense is... He has basically probably one of the fastest running backs, or should I say wide receivers, on all position. So his one, two, three wide receivers, they're all speedy. He has Mike Wallace. He has Hayward Bay. And his quarterback, you know, Russell Wilson, he can escape any any pressure that comes to him. So he has a speedy quarterback who can throw. And all his wide receivers, man, were killing my corners to end the first half. Finally, we get a stop on defense. I mean, this is probably the first stop that we got. Ed Reed gets an interception, and we're going into halftime with the score of 17 to 14. So here comes Russell Wilson to start off the second half. My goodness, are you kidding me right now? Mike Wallace, I don't even know how he's beating Cortland Finnegan. I mean, Cortland Finnegan is a decent man cover. Are you kidding me? And he's still being able to beat him. So he goes up by four points. I'm right here with Kurt Warner. Nowhere to go on a play, so I decided to scramble with him. And on the next play, he's going to go a play action. Going deep once again in. I try to use her that one, but it's going to be intercepted. Ah! Get him. Oh! <laughs> oh, my goodness. It is a, That has never happened to me. That that I that right there has never happened to me. So I make it a two point game, and here in the fourth quarter or third quarter, should I say, we're struggling. Kurt Warner goes down the sack, and I see a wide open man, but that one is batted down by the defensive tackle. So we have to give the ball back to my opponent, and he comes out. Oh my! I I don't even know what is going on with my corners. They're just getting beat on every play, and he's gonna go in for yet another touchdown to his tight end so the score is sort of you know getting away from me it's 19 to 28 the game is freezing up please wait ah, ain't nobody got time for that look at this catch by julio joins the sideline catch so that makes it two receptions for 68 yards then we're gonna do a halfback toss to marshall falk to the left side of the field no one is right there so you know we're getting back into it we're getting you know that much closer to the lead that we once had but our defense man is just getting murdered out here. I mean, we have not had a stop other than that Ed Reed interception. We have not had a stop. So Matt Forte right here gets that halfback reception for a touchdown, and it's back to, I don't even know what the lead is right now, nine points. As soon as I said that, you know, things get a little worse right here. The internet connection is already bad. I mean, it's like the same internet connection from, you know, like I said before, like Costco, and I threw an interception on the play. So, I mean... I might as well quit, right? But you know what? I was like, let me let me just go ahead and keep playing. Let me let me just go ahead and keep playing. It's 41 to 26. We got four minutes. I I think I could pull something off. Kurt Warner. Uh oh. Kurt, uh, uh oh. He's gonna take off. Oh my goodness! Left side of the field. No one's there. So good, 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 good vision. I gotta give it to you, Kurt. Good vision on that play. Fake handoff, oh my goodness, the pressure is right there, but I am able to throw that perfect pass to Mackey, so we make it a 41-33 if you guys uh, add this up, it's obviously an 8-point game, so Manti Teo gets a sack on the play, it's only an 8-point game, Manti Teo, oh, Manti Teo, forget about his girlfriend, this guy just got a sack and an interception back-to-back -back plays, what is going on right now? Two minutes left. We can do this. Julio Jones breaks a tackle. And he's going to take this one to about the 41-yard line. Kurt Warner steps back. He's going deep. He's giving it all he can. I'm trying to use her this. And I don't even know why I decided to use it in the first place. I don't even know why I threw that pass in the first place. And when I did try to use her, I kind of moved Calvin Johnson far right. I don't even know what is going on with me right now. 41-33. to 33. These stops, man. We cannot... <laughs> Oh, oh my, unbelievable. This is crazy, peeps. This is crazy. And that is how we ended the game. It was a pretty crazy one. But hope you guys enjoyed it. It's your boy, Onto the Boss, and I'm signing out. If you guys want to stay updated on when all of my videos will be uploaded, make sure you follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash Onto the Boss.